time. Okay, so today we are going to talk about one of the short-term assignments that I was on as a nurse. So, another nurse story to date. So I was working on this unit and typically what will happen is during contracts, whenever the floor that you were assigned to work on doesn't need you, they'll send you to another unit so long as you have experience working on that unit. Sometimes it don't even matter if you have experience. So anyways, so I was pulled to the postpartum unit because I have postpartum experience. I have maternal newborn experience. And when I got there, they still didn't have a high need for a nurse. So they ended up asking if I can just go around, take vitals and make sure that moms don't need water. They don't need pain meds. Just be a support staff. I was fine with that. I didn't argue. I didn't complain. I was just fine. So... I'm going around introducing myself as the stand-in CNA, essentially. And I was like, hi, my name's Ashley. I'm here to just, you know, see if you guys need anything. Let me know. <laughs> I was just excited to not have to do an immense amount of work because typically on these contracts, that's usually what ends up happening. So I was pumped to go in there and see if these people just wanted some ice water. I was fine. So as I'm going around introducing myself, I end up going into this one room. And in that room, there were there were a, a lot of people. And this was before COVID. So it was cool to have a lot of people in the room. And so I'm introducing myself. I say, you know, I say my little spiel. My name's Ashley. I'm here to see if I can get a quick set of vital signs. Do you need any water? Do you need anything? And so she's got family members in there. I don't know if it's a best friend, a girlfriend, a sister, a cousin. I don't know. But there were like three other people in there. Women. And then mom. And so as I'm taking her arm to put the blood pressure cuff on it, one of the family members says, you know, I'm not really sure how I feel about continuing after, after I come. I didn't say anything. I just sort of uh, continued doing my job and minding my business. Except that became difficult when I was invited into the conversation. So then another person in the room, again, I don't know what anybody's label is, sister, cousin, best friend, girlfriend, I don't know. But she looks at me and she says, Ashley, is that your name? Yes, y yes it is, yes, yeah, that's yes. I just, I wanted to ask you a question. I wanted to know maybe if you could tell me what sex toys you use. Because I'm not really sure mine are working for me anymore. Huh? You, you, you want to know what, what sex toys I use? So I didn't even get a chance to answer. I didn't even respond they collectively start to attack me in a friendly, uh, invasive manner. So one person says, I'm not really sure you should be asking that question. She works here. She doesn't talk about sex toys with the patients. And I'm like, yes, whoever you are, yes, girl. Can't be any talking about sex toys, which I think this is. And so the other person says, well, she's a woman. She's a young woman. I'm sure she knows. I'm sure she can offer us some expertise, some advice. And I was like, so y'all just y'all not gonna let this go y'all really gonna push Ugh. so what ended up happening was because I was frozen in place and I preferred to sink into the ground before I answered the question um one of the women and it, mind you the mom is really just the woman who just gave birth is just sitting there chilling observing everything not interceding not even offering any advice she's just chilling she might have been high she might have been high. So, um, anyways, they continue and they start to offer up what sex toys they use. And I start hearing names that I have never heard in my entire life. I was like, and then, you know, as a result, I am now intrigued. I was like, what is that? I was like, what is going on? You gonna have to tell me a little bit more about this baby girl. <laughs> Y'all, how did I end up sitting down in there chit-chatting with these women about my sex life? Uh, my lack thereof at the time and my sincere familiarity 
with sex toys. Y'all. It was immersive until uh, the charge nurse came looking for me. Yes, she was in search of me and I didn't realize that I had been in there for a solid 20 minutes. So they're super nice They're You know, they sort of just jump in and they're like, oh, we had a series of questions for her because we knew that she was also a nurse. And my badge says RN. So even though I went in there just to get vitals, they still saw RN. And so they, these women really just, you know, it was just women supporting women. I said, oh, shit, I need mushrooms. I feel it in my soul. Y'all. There was one toy called, and I, at the time, was super excited because I had never heard of this, and I'm still surprised to this day, there was this one called a whirlwind dildo. I was like, bitch, what? What? Whirlwind dildo. Google that shit. Look it up. Because I sure did. Changed my life. Yes. And so there was this, you know what, y'all? I'm gonna get in trouble. Can I be talking about this on YouTube? Anyways, I said all of that to say that <laughs> being a nurse is definitely turned out to be an exceptionally interesting career for a series of reasons. Thanks for joining. Tune in next time.